So in that first video we showed you how to use two switches plugged in and manually scanning and selecting the, the different options and how easy it was with the applicator. Um, for users who only have the ability to use one uh, switch there's a couple of different methods you can use um, within the iPad and uh, I'm going to show you them now. There's, there's two options, there's auto scanning and single step scanning. Um, auto scanning um, is as in the title it will scan automatically for you and your switch will determine what you select within the boxes um, and, and so on and so on. The um, single switch scanning is basically dwell clicking so you scan, you choose what you want to click within the boxes and then you uh, stop pressing the switch and let it, let it sort of pick the thing for you so it dwell clicks like you might have seen in other videos where we dwell click um, by hovering over something with a mouse alternative um, for a couple, couple of seconds or however long you set it for and it clicks it for you. So we'll dive straight in, we'll go into the switch control menu and you'll notice that I've cleared down all the switches, the applicator is on and still connected via Bluetooth. So we'll go into switches and add new switch, external again and press the switch. We'll call it red again, just freeze, but this time you pick the tap again. Um, now you can select any of the scanning options and this will come into play when we talk about single switch scanning, uh, swing, single step scanning, but um, for this use um, I'd recommend or we'd recommend the tap button. This is because in the newest iOS uh, select item when you click on an app it brings up a separate menu. Tap bypasses that and selects the app for you. So have a play and, and work out what's best for you definitely. When you come back out to this menu, it's worth noting you've got the timing menu there that appears when you're in auto scanning here. So we've selected auto scanning there and it's, automa it's, it's automatically on two seconds, but you can change the amount of time it scans between each section um, when you are selecting within that blue box. It also gives you a couple of other options. So for example, loops there for means it'll go through every single app uh, option four times before it stops. So what we'll do is we'll turn switch control on and show you how it works by pressing home. So it'll auto scan across the menus with the blue bar and it'll go right down to the bottom and across different things, go in two seconds at a time each time you um, see it move between different boxes. And when you're ready to go into one, you press the switch and then when you select your app, you can go into your app like that. So auto scanning is as simple as that.